Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. I had a question and that was which tank has better armor? The Scourge, which was the tank of the month in February, or the Alpine Tiger, which you see here, which is the tank of the month for March. And I told him I didn't know, but I should probably make a quick video and let's take a look and see ourselves because that seemed like a really good idea. So if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That will help me in the future. Tell your friends so they can like and subscribe too, hopefully. This will help you learn some stuff you may not have known, pick up some ideas here and there because I get lots of great comments and lots of good ideas from other players because this represents a central meeting place for players with similar interest. So let's take a look, shall we? Do 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 do. All right, Alpine Tiger, let's take a look at this armor. All right, so straight from the front, all you see is yellow and red with those edges of purple. I don't know if those are the places where you can score any damage along the right and left edge right above the tracks. So let me go get the armor view of the Scourge and see what happens, you know, back to back. Okay, this is the Scourge. Now the thing that instantly jumps to mind is that you have the green lower plate, which is the weakest part of the frontal armor. Well, the right and left edges above the tracks are also bigger on this tank. I don't know if that's going to score a lot of damage or not specifically, but that's what I see. They both have that same edge purple weakness, but the Scourge has a bigger purple edge weakness than the Alpine Tiger. So the big yellow upper plate and then the yellow and orange turret is like, forget about it. So we're going to go back and look at the Alpine Tiger again right now. All right, we're back at the Alpine Tiger. So it looks to me that the armor of the Alpine Tiger is better than the Scourge. That's what I would read from what I'm seeing in this armor, at least from the front. Now from the side, let's take a look and I'm going to switch back to the Scourge here in just a second. Okay, this is the Scourge and it looks to me Tiger is better. But let's go back and look at this one more time, shall we? Well, the Alpine Tiger is better, like, above the tracks. But below the track, I mean, below the top track level, that green makes it look weaker. So I don't know, specifically, if you say that they're even. The It looks like the Alpine Tiger is a f just very difficult to penetrate from the front as well as above the tracks so if you're rolling by some rocks that can protect your tracks on the left or right side and you rotate that turret that dude's kind of got he's gonna have a hard time penetrating your tank so to the best of my ability I'm thinking that this Alpine Tiger on an open field here is better but I am not the best expert of medium and heavy tank combat I'm pretty good but I'm I'm still learning and getting better so I'm just giving you what I can tell at this point now if any of you guys are much more experts at mediums and heavy tank armor analysis it would be very helpful if you would leave a comment and explain to myself and the others who are not as knowledgeable as yourself what you see and how this would be better. So 
I mean, my, my gut reaction is that I'm thinking the Alpine Tiger is better. Let's go back one more time and look at the Scourge. I mean, I see green on the Scourge that I don't see on the Alpine Tiger. So to me, that means the Scourge is going to be slightly easier to penetrate. And by that designation, I would say the Alpine Tiger has better armor. But again, I am not a definitive expert in this aspect of the game. In other games, other game situations, if I'm an expert, I'll tell you. And if I'm not an expert like this time, I'll tell you that also. I don't pretend to know things that I don't know just to impress people with false presentation. I just say it as it is. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not afraid to learn and get better. In fact, I've been learning and getting better all the time. So, even though I'm older than most of the players, I'm still getting better. That's the scary part. I have not hit my top performance level yet. Well, now in artillery, it's pretty close. I mean, I did some stuff. But... In other aspects of the game, my game is increasing. My sniping is increasing in, in ability, and my medium and heavy tank play is increasing. Now, I wasn't the greatest, so I had a lot of room to go up. But that's the thing that I do, is I'll tell you what I know to the limit of my knowledge, and then let you know. If someone has more information than me, by all means, tell us. So, I thought it was a great question. I had never thought of it, because... I'm like, yeah, well, whatever, I have all of them. I, and I think they're all good. The Scourge is good. I, I enjoyed the way it played. I thought it was a very fine tank. The Alpine Tiger, also fine. So the Scourge, as you can see, you kind of need to get something in front of you. You get something in front of your lower plate, they're in trouble. The only greens you see is right above and below the gun housing. So... You know, now maybe it's okay, solid from the side, not super great, but I would say it's very good. I'm not an expert of that, though. So this is what I know of the Scourge, which is Un Skunk Le Pew. That is a skunk tank. That is a Pepe Le Pew special. And then also we have the Alpine Tiger. Now, the Alpine Tiger is a much more beautiful looking tank. And I think it's got the better armor of the two. I don't know about the gun specifically. What is it? Penetration 175, 250 with 390 damage. So the it looks like the penetration of the Scourge is better than the Tiger. Let's check again. Oh yeah, the, the Scourge has better bullet penetration. The Alpine Tiger with 1550 hit points. The Scourge with also 1550. The Speed. Alpine Tiger wins in the Speed. How about the Vision? 420 versus 380. Man, I'm telling you that the Alpine Tiger is better than the Scourge, apparently. Um, the, the Scourge does have better penetration. So... It's one of those tomato, tomato. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Very close, very good tanks. You know, some people are going to prefer the higher penetration. Others are going to prefer the other attributes, the speed and the vision range. They're all good. You know, I, I don't think you're going to make a bad choice in either case. They're both very good tanks. So, a great question. And like I said, if any of you guys have some personal experience or understanding that will enhance what I have said here, by all means, please post it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. If you did, again, please like, please subscribe, tell your friends so they can do the same. I got more videos I'm going to make. I will see you then. Thanks again for watching.